Greetings, my dear beloved children. I would like to continue our conversation about the breakthrough, that your consciousness has to accomplish to enable you to shift completely and permanently into the unipolar energy space of 5D. In this instance, we speak about the quantum leap of human consciousness, which has to happen not only on subtle plane, but has to be expressed outwardly in your thoughts and actions on physical plane of Earth. All of this happens at the junction of two worlds the world of 3D, where your physical body is present, and the 5D, where your consciousness has shifted almost completely. This process is important and very complex. It has never happened in the history of humanity before. If your bodies had underwent the process of densifying for centuries and millenniums, now they have to become rarefied in several decades to reach the level of 5D. In practice it may be expressed in the following way. The circle of people will appear on Earth, who will be significantly different from other people, and first of all, by their invincibility to any negative energies. Regardless of what happens around them or what tests they undergo, they will always remain calm, undisturbed and loving. These people will become the vanguard of humanity the living example of ascension in action, who will be followed by those, whose souls have chosen the shift and who continue to work in that direction. Although there are only a small number of them, such people are already present on earth. They do not promote themselves, because they understand very well the danger of publicity, that is able to nullify the lengthy and persistent work of their souls for transformation of their consciousness towards the divine. However, it does not mean that these people have stayed away from helping others. They simply do that while staying unseen to others, working behind the screen. We can call them the light forces of the universe, who are present on earth in their physical bodies. As a rule, they are very ancient souls, who had come to earth many times, and who had left an indelible imprint on its history. They have not had to incarnate any more, but they have chosen voluntarily this difficult mission of helping humanity in its shift from one dimension to another. These people know who they are and why they have come to earth, and nevertheless they understand very well, that if they reveal their names, it would cause unnecessary excitement, leading to their idolization by some people, and profanation of their holy names by the others. Unfortunately, very few of you are capable to perceive all the profoundness and greatness of the events that transpire on earth, and to regard wisely, calmly and dispassionately the appearance of these greatly loved souls on earth in the physical bodies. Some of them have already attempted to reveal their names, and such attempts have ended quite sadly. On one hand, they have gained the crowds of fanatics, who would blindly follow them, which means they have lost themselves as personalities and have been thrown back in their spiritual paths. On the other hand, these people have become subjects to denunciations and aggression from the people, who are very far from the subject of ascension. And I hope that the great souls of humanity, who have entered their service, will not repeat their mistakes, and will continue their priceless light work, while staying in the shadows which will allow them not only to preserve the purity of their own souls, but also the purity of those, whom they will protect from temptation of creating idols, meaning lack of belief in their own powers. Father Absolute, who loves you without measure, has spoken to you.